An unidentified flying object suspected to be a drone was reportedly spotted near Prime Minister Narendra Modi's official residence in New Delhi on Monday morning. The Delhi police launched a search operation following a call from the Special Protection Group, however, found nothing suspicious. It is to be noted that PM Modi's residence comes under the red no-fly zone or no-drone zone. After Ajit Pawar's rebellion, accompanied by eight other NCP MLAs joining the NDA government in Maharashtra, internal conflict erupted within the NCP. Ajit Pawar claimed that his camp represents the real NCP and appointed Sunil Tatkare as their new state president. Meanwhile, the Sharad Pawar-led NCP faction filed a disqualification petition against the nine rebel MLAs with the Maharashtra Assembly Speaker and approached the Election Commission. However, NCP leader Praful Patel stated that decisions on disqualification can only be made by the Vidhan Sabha Speaker. Emphasizing the need for unity within the party, he said that they don't want any internal fights or for matter to go to the Election Commission. Shiv Sena, BJP, Ajit Pawar Alliance is named as Mahayuti. The meeting of the Parliamentary Standing Committee for Law and Justice began in the Parliament to discuss the issue of Uniform Civil Code. The committee, which is non-political in nature, is headed by BJP's Sushil Modi and the panel has members from all political parties. The UCC, a long-standing issue, came back to the spotlight after PM Modi's strong endorsement, who said that the country cannot run on two laws and that Uniform Civil Code was part of the Constitution. Warner Brothers' highly anticipated movie Barbie starring Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling has been banned in Vietnam from domestic distribution. The ban was imposed due to a scene depicting a map that shows China's unilaterally claimed territory in South China Sea. The U-shaped nine-dash line is used on Chinese maps to represent its expansive territorial claims in the contested area that Vietnam claims as its continental shelf and where it has granted oil concessions. The film about the famous doll, which has already created a hype on social media, is due to release in cinemas on July 21st. An explosion was reported in the Shimbashi district of Japan's Tokyo with video footage showing flames and smoke emerging from the building. According to reports, four people have been injured and are currently receiving medical attention. According to local authorities, the incident occurred on the second floor of a building situated in an area full of eateries and businesses. The cause of fire and explosion is yet to be determined as investigations are underway. The Russian envoy to the United Nations in Geneva, Gennady Gatilov, said there were no grounds for maintaining the existing Black Sea Grains Agreement, which was brokered last July between Russia, Ukraine and Turkey by the UN. He expressed dissatisfaction with progress in implementing Russian conditions for extending the agreement, including reconnecting the sanctioned Russian Agricultural Bank to the banking payment system SWIFT. To address the issue, Moscow has proposed establishing a subsidiary of the bank to handle grain export payments with access to SWIFT, which was close to the largest Russian banks after the outbreak of war between Russia and Ukraine last year. Russia is also seeking the resumption of supplies of agricultural machinery and parts and lifting of restrictions on insurance and reinsurance. Ahead of the Panchayat polls in West Bengal scheduled for July 8, the situation remains tense with persistent violence. In a recent incident, a BGP worker was found dead in Purulia area of the state. BGP has accused the ruling TMC cadre of the murder. The state has witnessed a series of clashes, injuries and fatalities between political rivals in different parts since the filing of nominations began on June 9. Delhi High Court dismissed the bail plea of the former Delhi Deputy Chief Minister in a money laundering case related to the now-scrapped Delhi excise policy scam. The Aam Admi Party leader was first arrested by the Central Bureau of Investigations on February 26 for his alleged role in the scam and has been in custody since then. Sisodia was arrested on March 9 in the case lodged by Enforcement Directorate and is presently in judicial custody. The High Court already denied him bail in the CBI case on May 30. The India Meteorological Department in Bhuvaneshwar, Odisha has issued a yellow warning for 18 districts of Odisha from July 3rd to 7th. Light to moderate rain or thunder showers are likely to occur in a few places in the districts of Odisha. 
Meanwhile, IMD also informed that Tamil Nadu will likely receive light to moderate rainfall in several districts in next four days. As part of e-initiative, the country's Supreme Court has adopted a paperless and technology-enabled setup including free Wi-Fi facilities for advocates, litigants and others, and soon it will be enabled in bar rooms as well. The courtrooms of Top Court now have a modern design due to the installation of various technology facilities including more screens and upgraded video conferencing facilities. Apple is exploring new features with its next-gen AirPods and is planning to introduce new much more smarter AirPods globally which are likely to have hearing health and body temperature feature. Meanwhile, reports suggest the next AirPods may also feature a Type-C port for charging as the company is transitioning away from its proprietary lightning port on iPads and soon iPhones. <laughs>